all right. So um, while Russia is invading Ukraine and the world is slapping over-the-top sanctions on Russia, basically trying to implode the economy, there are other things that have been happening. Saudi unleashed some more bombs on Yemen. The U.S. actually bombed Somalia, one of the first days of Putin's invasion. Um, and other countries are sort of getting in on the madness, too. Now, let me just throw up this article here, and, and we'll start talking about it. But this is in the Daily Mail. They say, Russia encourages North Korea to resume nuclear weapon program and points out strengthening U.S.-South Korea ties as Kim Jong-un rebuilds atomic test site amid World War III fears in Europe. Wow. So, let me show you the article. Russia has praised North Korea for resuming missile tests and stirred up tensions against the West as the imminent threat of World War III looms larger than it has in decades. Russia's foreign ministry today applauded the understandable decision to renew ballistic missile tests and added that military cooperation between the U.S. and South Korea has only increased since the tests were stopped. Uh, Pyotr Ilyichov, head of the international organization's uh, division at the ministry, also said he saw no prerequisites for the resumption of denuclearization talks between Washington uh, because Washington chose to sanction Pyongyang. The worrying comments come as new satellite images show Kim Jong-un has restarted construction at a nuclear testing site, which was closed in 2018. Parts of the Pungyi Ri site were blown up after it was closed for four years, but images show repairs and new buildings at the test site amid fears by U.S. security officials that Kim wants to resume his nuclear program this year. The alliance between the two regimes come, come at a time of heightened global hostilities after Vladimir Putin ramped up Russia's nuclear defenses and issued dire threats of atomic destruction after his savage invasion of Ukraine. The prospect of another anti-Western tyrant armed with nuclear missiles will do little to assuage the current panic gripping the globe. Uh, so, now this is just one piece of the news. Now let me show you the next piece of it. This one is in The Independent. South Korea fires a warning shot at North Korean vessel violating maritime border. The North Korean patrol boat was reportedly tracking a fishing boat that also crossed the maritime border. So now you have, they fired a warning shot at him. South Korea fired a warning shot at North Korea. South Korea has uh, fired a warning shot at North Korean patrol vessel that tried to intervene when the military seized a fishing boat. The Yonhap News Agency has reported a North Korean fishing boat crossed the maritime border between the two Koreas around 9.30 a.m. It was then seized and towed to South Korea's, I don't, I'm going to try to pronounce that, island for investigation. South Korean military fired a warning shot at North Korean patrol boat that had briefly crossed the maritime border while tracking the fishing boat. The two countries never signed a peace treaty after their war in the 1950s, so they technically remain at war. Although the ceasefire has mostly held, there have been various moments where tensions have erupted. The maritime border is one of the most serious flashpoints for the conflict. So, you got Kim Jong-un now rebuilding nukes, or at the very least, that nuclear test site. He's working on that now. Um, you have South Korea firing a warning shot at North Korea when they crossed the maritime border. Now, I, if I remember correctly, I think that there were seven people that they seized, and then I think they sent them back. So, thankfully, it worked like everything sort of stepped back from the brink, And but this could have been bad, so allow me to broadcast to the world, www.chill.com. Everybody needs to chill. Everybody needs to chill. Things are super out of hand right now. And when I saw this, I was like, oh God, the last thing we need is the hot war to start again in Korea. And that could be d devastating. If there is any sort of real fighting, Kim Jong-un could just press the button immediately and destroy Seoul. It's everybody relax, everybody relax, everybody chill, everybody breathe, everybody breathe. And look, I'm going to say something else that's kind of controversial, but you guys know this has been my position for a long time. Here's how I respond to North Korea um, building nukes again or going to the test site, rebuilding the test site again. I don't care. I don't care. I think any action that South Korea or the West would take to try to get that to stop 
right? I'm fine with diplomacy and negotiation, whatever. That's all cool. But any sort of tit-for-tat escalation actually puts people in more danger. Because, and this is according to our own Pentagon officials that, you know, this was reported years ago, I think, in The Intercept. They're like, listen, North Korea is not really a threat to us. North Korea, more of a threat to South Korea, but still the reason why they actually want the nuclear weapons is because of deterrence. It is truly a deterrent. And we had John Bolton said to North Korea, we're going to try to do the Libya model with you. What? The Libya model is you give us your weapons and then we topple you anyway. So they have every reason in the world to actually have a nuke so that they don't get fucked with and they don't get overthrown. And the fact of the matter is, it, it makes sense from, from their perspective. It does. Now, North Korea is horrendous. It is a... They are a domestic menace. I mean, they have, like, concentration camps there. They are ruthlessly and viciously oppressing their own people. And there are horror stories about people escaping and what they went through. Now, you know, is, is some of it propaganda? I'm sure. But even if it's only 10% as bad as they say it is, it's still a nightmare over there. And we know they're super impoverished and... They haven't modernized at all. And it's just a totalitarian, authoritarian dictatorship. It is terrible. It's terrible in every way, shape, and form. But they're a threat to their own people. And they really do want a nuclear weapon just to make sure nobody fucks with them. Because they know they're sitting ducks. They know they don't really have the ability to defend themselves if they don't have some sort of major weapons that are immediately pointing right at Seoul. So... This is what I'm saying. I want everybody to chill, man. Everybody needs to relax. Everybody needs to take a couple deep breaths. We all got to start talking. We need negotiation and diplomacy. You know, that's not to say that in certain instances you can't use targeted sanctions to get some uh, desired end goals. You can and you should. But when you go too far with the sanctions or you do a tit-for-tat escalation or it gets militaristic or like in this instance, hey, we fired a warning shot. What if that hit them? Right? And then all of a sudden, or, or does all hell break loose? In South Korea, North Korea? A terrifying prospect, man. Terrifying prospect. But it does seem like everybody's sort of using the chaos of what's happening in Russia and Ukraine to fortify themselves and to get a little wacky. Everybody's sort of losing their mind a little bit. And I think Russia encouraging North Korea to do this, of course, is like, hey, in a World War III thing, you're with us, right? It would be, you know, Russia, China. Russia, China, North Korea... Maybe even the Gulf states now, Iran, maybe India, like they would all line up against basically the US, Europe, Australia. I mean, you could see the dividing lines already starting. South Korea, Japan would be on the US's side. It, it's just getting it's getting crazy. I want everybody to relax. I want everybody to breathe. When I saw the headlines about shots fired, I was like, oh, God. Can we please, for the love of God, everybody stop. Everybody just www.stop.com backslash right now. I still want a nuclear fallout bunker. I know, I'm sorry. Every segment I'm doing these days ends with like, I want a nuclear fallout bunker. For real though, I want one. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.